Greetings everyone and welcome back to Thrones of Britannia, a Total War Saga. Now then, we have our army currently positioned over here because uh, we are sharing a border with an enemy. An actual enemy who was an enemy before we took control. Uh, mostly uh, because, uh, you know, they may have had something to do with my father's death. Uh, doesn't sit well with the Welsh. It doesn't sit well with anyone. But, uh, no, we're, we're going we're going to uh, keep an eye on that. That's probably where we're first going to go to war, unless our less trusted brother kicks up a fuss down here, in which case we might have to deal with them. Uh, but for the time being, uh, are we happy where we are? Honestly, I think we kind of are. Uh, let's have a look. It's going to take a little while before we've, we've recovered more people. Sure. Okay, what else are we working on? We've we haven't got much much money, so let's actually just go ahead and uh, end the turn. We do need to start getting more and more units recruited, though, so that we can start advancing in the tech trees. That's going to be a big part of the game, I imagine, getting the this, the units recruited. Now, I'm wondering if... Now, this is going to be a bit mercenary of me. I wonder if the technology requirements for technology... Are now available oh. to research. Okay. Put your finest minds to work on the technology screen. Such improvements are vital to maintain a competitive advantage over your rivals. Indeed. Now, one thing with that is that it says recruit a certain number of, of people. I wonder if that uh, specifically pertains to recruiting them or having them in your arm. Because if it only means recruiting them, then you could cycle the units by disbanding and recruiting, disbanding and recruiting. Or, you know, the more bloody version, getting them killed in fights, then recruiting, getting them killed in fights, and then recruiting. Uh, it's, it's not something I would re recommend, specifically. I think it would be particularly bad. Oh, there we go. That's actually fantastic. We're doing well over here right now. Uh, overall unrest is good. Hmm. Excellent. Excellent news indeed. Now, that would drop my food production, which is not something I can afford to do. In fact, I need to wait and build up more food. That is that is the chief thing that I need right now. Possibly get someone who can help my army gather food on the way. But let's have a look over here. Is there anything that has actually... Oh, no, leadership is unlocked. Ah, okay. No civilization ever became great without first applying a rule of law. Acquiring or improving facilities that allow for a better administri administration of justice will earn us renown, or at least keep the rabble under control. Plus 25 fame. Nice. Corruption. Uh, okay, well, let's go for this, I guess. Sure. There we go. Marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. I don't see any reason for me to move right now. Uh, we could... Ooh. Are you... Are you going to be more with my brother. I don't like him being in our lands, brother, I must confess. And yes, I do consider my brother's lands mine. My brother's lands are my lands in that I would stand with my brother in battle. And so they are my lands to protect as well. And also maybe eventually they'll be my lands because they will be mine. Well, I will cross that bridge when we come to it. It'll be a bloodless war, I hope. Uh, but, look, there can only be one king. Uh, well, I mean, we we are currently we are the the Welsh triad the three the three of us um, having inherited Rob uh, Rodri Maur's uh, legacy eh, uh, that doesn't last <laughs> the triad will be broken uh, right well I guess it could last I, I'm in control of history now ah yes that's I, I'd forgotten that part this doesn't need to play play out the way it did before hmm. I don't like you being there I really don't. I wonder what kind of garrison you have over here. Um, Castor, let me have a look at the garrison. You've got quite a lot there. It's not something I want to immediately jump into. Uh, another turn will at least get me the, the second scout horseman fully ranked up. It's going to be a little while though, I'll be honest. It's a bit of a pain. I'm going to pass another turn. At the moment, we're being a little bit reactionary, but I think... Okay, there we go. If if they had caused war, then we would have been immediately ready to attack. And it was worth waiting to see what they did there, but uh, I think we're probably going to have to go to war with them as one of the first things we do. Uh, 
there, but not when the army is right next to that town, because I don't want to have to deal with the reinforcements coming from it. Mission issued. The fortress of Edinburgh, aloof on its forbidding rock, has seen many great deeds. An elite force of 300, great, of, uh, of 300 greatest warriors gathered in the kingdom of Gododin. Uh, sorry, of Gododin. I can't remember. I'm allowed to say things the Welsh way. We said, and yes, I, I received the comments. People would very much like me to pronounce things as they should be pronounced. I will do my best. And uh, I, I will maintain, though, there will be some times when, if I'm just reading through stuff, I'll just pronounce it the way it's written. Again, because sometimes it'll be a little bit confusing, but I will try to be, uh, try to point it out more when there are inaccuracies like that. I'm not going to go over the top, though. Like I said, they, they, made, they, they made an effort. Bless them. Um, here for a year and a day before heading south to clash with invaders from the east at the Battle of Ketretha. Some sources claim Arthur himself besieged the castle here. Edinburgh may also have been home to King um, Kineva, later credited with founding the Kingdom of Gwynedd. To take this place would be most uh, propitious? I'm not familiar with that word at all. Uh, very well. Ten heroism for that one. Uh, that's going to be a tricky one. Very far to the north. Hmm. That is a long ways off. That's not a mission that I'm going to get to any time soon. Uh, we sing. We've finally encountered them. All the way down here, they've finally uh, set a foot, claimed uh, an area. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, well, you've got a little bit more time to go, but I, I'm really tempted to just get into to war. What time have we got on our buildings right now? We've got a bit of cash to spare. Let's see. Shall we go ahead and increase our cattle herd? Increase our farm. We'll gain 23 there. We'll gain a lot more here. 10 food. Versus uh, 15 food here. Actually, the fish would be a little bit better for me. I think. We're going to go with the fish. Because food is the... Not not actually uh, money. Food is is the, the main thing that I'm waiting on. I guess we'll pa pass an extra turn or two. While we wait for that to be done. Ah, Okay, the port will be up soon as well. Which will, again, increase our, our money coming in. I think it'll increase our supplies as well. I'm not sure it'll increase our food. It's, it's not like a fishing pier, it's a port. One could say that you might be able to trade. Perhaps I should uh, do some diplomacy with my brother, but really, I, I want to get out there. I want to wanna conquer lands. Ooh. Uh, Arth Whale. Rumor has it that this man is working against you and is about to make his next move. It's mm. unfortunate. Uh, I'll pay him off. Perhaps money will silence him. These rumors are baseless. It'll lower my influence, which is not something I can afford to do. So I'll pay him off for now. Uh, no, that was mine. I thought my, my influence went down anyway. That would have, that would have been particularly nasty. Uh, how long on the port? One more turn. Well, actually, you know, it, it will increase food production by a good, good healthy amount. Well, down here again. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. By no means. How far south could we get? We we'll get a fair ways south. Sure, Every let's head on down. I think it's time. We cannot. So, let's go to war. I think it is time. Uh, where are you, hated enemy? Uh, it's slowly improving, but no. No, we're going to initiate diplomacy. I have received you. More than that, I cannot promise. Ah, that's fine. We're going to declare war. Uh, create a vassal kingdom. Ask this faction to become your vassal kingdom. If you're strong enough and they accept your offer, they'll gain your protection but lose most of their diplomatic freedom, effectively becoming your puppets. I like that. Uh, cancel declaration of friendship with military access. Um... Offer or demand payments. Offering payments. Uh, I could demand payments, I guess. No, we're, we're 
Well, actually, strength rating, we're, we're significantly stronger. Payments. Demand payment. Uh, their economic power, very weak. Payments can be used as deal components, either to extract money from another faction or to make your own offerings. Uh, yes, I would like... I want the money that I just spent. If I can get that first, I'm, I'll accept it. They've got a lot more territory than me. Uh, there we are. Insulting. Good. I'm going to insult you. We would rather toss our gold into the sea. Fantastic. What it is then? There we are. Call your allies to help. You want war? War you shall have. Okay. You are joined by Polis. Marvelous. The Pomis has failed. These two factions are now at war. It was going to happen anyway, so it may as well happen on my terms. Right, now you're all the way down there. If I'm fortunate, I might be able to get you before you can get back to... Uh, uh, I'm not sure if they would have pronounced that name Sista or Kista. I'm, I'm really not. Kiasta. Um, I, I have no idea if it's a hard C or a soft C. I, I'm going to say... Given that these are effectively the proto-English, uh, that it is going to be a soft C. Okay, I love that harp. Okay, let's see how this goes. Unfortunately, my brother's province did suffer for that. In order to properly secure Wales, we must first eliminate the Anglo-Saxon invaders. Let us make our ancestors proud and kick uh, Mercy out of Wales. Remove them from Wales. Ten heroism. I approve. Uh, alternatively, I could just attack you here. Besiege you. No, we're going to try and get down and actually engage you down there. Let's go. There we are. Uh, it looks like their army is about to uh, land on them. Good, good, good. An impressively large boat. Now we just need to place a uh, place to moor it. Let's head over, get something new going. Now uh, that would cost an awful lot, but 30 food. Whoa. I'd be extremely welcome, I must confess. Uh, also, this. Uh, it would increase our garrison as well, which would be quite nice to see. Let's have a quick look at the building browser, shall we? Uh, the port. Boat Haven. We're currently at the harbour. We go all the way up to a port. That would be the end of that building chain. Great Hall. We have a bard. Uh, we've also got law. Uh, okay. Is this uh, the tribal kings of Wales and the Old North always maintained a separate identity from the other peoples with whom they shared the Isles? Uh, it's true. Uh, we may actually have a look into this, because I've i got a, a law building and I've got a Great Hall specific... Ah, there we are, the settlement itself. We're at level 1 Great Hall, I believe. No, level 2. And we've also got uh, the law court. Alright, we'll have a look into that. One more turn on taking up. Okay, we've done everything we can. Let's pass the turn. Oh, you're legging it, really, now. Well, I'll take this back. But we've got to kick you out of Wales. It does take a fantastically long time to do the turns, but... Uh, ooh. Oh, my brother was driven back. Well, that is unfortunate. That is extremely unfortunate. I was expecting them to be able to uh, carry the day there. Worry not, brother. I will avenge you. Faction destroyed. The faction was no match for their enemies. They are no more. Every man will oh. do his duty. Hubbub. No civilization ever became great without first applying a rule of law. Acquiring or improving facilities that allow for the better administration of justice will earn us renown. Or at least keep the rabble under control. Uh, okay. Uh, no civilization. Oh, right. That we got the uh, tech. That was right. Okay, it's plus 25 fame. Uh, let's go ahead and have a look at what else we can do. This is the only thing we can do, so we may as well go for it. 
this would give us strong leader. A strong and stable leadership is not possible without a strong and stable leader. Implementing a firmly managed hierarchy beneath those at the top will keep the nobles in line, reducing losses from corruption. I approve. Carry on and get that going, please. For the glory of the Cymru. Indeed. We right. Serve you well. Let's get this one back, Ben. It's minor settlement. Uh, occupy it. Public order penalty will decrease over time. Or sack it and get a ridiculous amount of money. Um... Hmm. You do not capture the settlement, but steal treasure and damage buildings. Public order is reduced, and the previous owners will like you a lot less. You occupy the settlement, public order is reduced, and the previous owners will like you a lot less. Well, I'll occupy it. Your kingdom has a new estate, Hooray! which has been taken into the possession of the king. Estates may be assigned to other nobles on the faction screen to secure their loyalty. Fantastic. In order to properly secure Wales, we must first eliminate the Anglo-Saxon invaders. There we are. We've just got 10 heroism. Amazing. The only way to permanently remove the threat of um, Mercy is to completely destroy them. Show them true Welsh heroism. Wow, I've, I've straight up just a wipe out that faction. Your path is one uh, great leaders have followed from ancient times. Build up your armies and send them out to both... Uh, both to ensure your ancestral lands remain yours and to take new territory. Heroism. There we are. Heroism, make your mark. Uh, very well. Increased heroism by winning battles, etc., etc. That was super easy to do. My lord. Okay. This province is at risk of rebellion in Polis. Yeah. Well, we've got farmland here, which is actually amazing. Plus 45 food. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Well, you now got a lot more money. Uh, let's go to our noble screen, our faction screen first. Governors and estates. You have no estate from what I understand. The loyalty is low. Your worth. Um, no governance. You've got command. I think I would prefer to have you as a leader of an army. Since you've got a lot of influence, I want your loyalty up. So. No. I'm going to give this one to. You. Do you want to continue with assigning the leader's estate to the selected character? Yes, I do. There we are. Loyalty has been increased. I'm going to keep one estate to myself. But as soon as I get a second one, I'll be going out to you. Uh, Tutwal actually doesn't have an estate. That's interesting. It's very interesting, actually. I could give this out, but I, I think it's important for me to have one. I'm going to assign the estates to another character by clicking them on the list, and then, or by dragging them onto the, the character as well. Let me just go and check out my, my character. If we look at influence, I'm getting one influence from estates held. Uh, so that means your influence just went up. <laughs> That's painful. I really do need to get my influence up a lot more than I can be got. But the loyalty has been increased, and that's the main thing that I'd like. Uh, like to encourage here. Uh, hopefully you'll you'll gain some things there. I could also get your wife, perhaps. We'll, we'll actually see. Can I do that? I wonder. I wonder. Can I seek you a wife? You're a Justicar. King's captain. This character is currently occupying this office, hereby granting them the following effect. Influence, loyalty, command. Justicar, zeal, influence, and loyalty. Alright, what items have we got that we could hand out? I'm not actually sure which um, titles we have. Uh, we will see. I'm not sure what loyalties we have, uh, what titles we can offer. But we've got candidates here. Are these candidates for people to maintain armies, perhaps? It has been a long time since I've played uh, a Total War game, so 
I do hope you'll forgive me for being a little bit of a noob in some ways. Right, this is unfortunate. We're going to need to try and resolve that. But whilst we're we're here, we can My now will not afford to uh, get a couple more people. Oh, channel is there. Have I? Oh, I gained a lot. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. If I took an extra level of Bard, minus 15 enemy campaign movement range in the local province. Not exactly what I want. Plus 8% unit replenishment. And 8 food production. That might be very useful. Raiding. 10% campaign movement range. Uh, plus 2 loyalty. Hmm. No. If breaking into places is your goal, that would be useful. The scribe would give me governance. Not really what I want. Plus 2 to command. Um, plus 10 melee skill for the commander's units. That would give me rally 2. And plus 40% bodyguard size. And enable night battles. Mm. So tempting. But getting the forager would be amazing for the extra unit. Uh, minus 11 food production and enemy profit. Oh, wow. That would be particularly nice. You can get up to the point where you're if just being in an enemy's area, you're draining 20 of their food. And immune to snow attrition? Well, that's quite potent, actually. Um, so it's really between the forager and the champion. Uh, the food isn't the big issue for me right now. The unit replenishment is. The com no, we're going to be going for the champion, I think. There we go. All right. So that is where we've gone. Good, good. Family. No, we're good with that. All right. Uh, and that's good for me. All right. They're at risk of rebellion. It's not a lot we can do right now. We're going to have to hold tight for that one. And I think what we will do is spend Every some of our money to get some duty. more units. Right, I would like to get some uh, meleeers now. I would like some which have decent armor, though. You are fantastically expensive, though. Well, uh, that being said, um, we've got twelve armor. They've got twelve armor. Uh, you know, I could get some extra spearmen. Um, sure, I'll grab two extra spearmen. I could even go for some extra bowmen too. That would be particularly nice. Having a really solid um, rear line of bowmen would be devastating to my opponent. Uh, I'll grab an extra one. That's all I can afford. Uh, actually, no, it's not, in fact. Okay, well, we'll see how that goes. Let's brought our money... Oh, no, no, it was. Uh, let's brought our money down, but we've now got a reasonable-sized army. It's going to take a while for me to, to replenish these. And that leaves, means that we can't immediately rush out to fight. But I want to handle this little area first anyway. That's not too bad. We're starting to uh, increase the size of our army. Oh no, he went for my brother. I couldn't have got to my brother anyway. So there's not a lot that I can do about that. But it does look like he may have... He may have killed my brother. I really hope not. I'm not sure if that was just a general or it was my brother there. But there's no way I could have gotten down to him, regardless, so... At least I don't think so. Faction destroyed. Uh, this faction... <laughs> there's a part of me, my heart sunk at the thought that my brother had been slain. Uh, this faction was no match for their enemies. Their your enemies. prestige grows as word of your achievements Hooray. spread. Continue to develop your fame, and victory can be yours. Excellent. Fame. A faction's fame is a measure of its achievements. The current fame level may be viewed on the family tree and politics tab of the faction screen. Gaining sufficient fame is one method of achieving victory in the campaign. Oh, I'll try to have a look at that one then. Where's, where's my fame exactly? Fame. Ah, there we are. Ah, okay. In order to achieve the short fame victory, 256 or the long 532. Uh, intrigue. Divorce. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, okay. Well, that, that's amazing. Let's have a look at you. What do I happen to know about you? By no means. You're wounded. How many Impossible. units? You haven't got many. 
could make a push. My spearmen would have to be at the rear of the, the spear ranks, but I have got a, a... They they would be able to help, but I would have to be very def play very defensively with them. But we could charge in right now. And I think that would be well worth it. Let's go. There we are. Oh, no, they're bailing. Really? Oh, and we get reinforcements as well. Your army will be joined by reinforcements in battle should you decide to fight. Oh, all the better to surround the army and drive them off the field. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't going to be fighting. Uh, their general is already at half uh, strength. They've got one spear unit, one sword unit, both wounded, one archer unit, and one um, cavalry unit. Very well. Very, very well. We're going to be. Night attack. Ooh. Night attacks prevent reinforcements and also reduce visibility and line of sight for both sides. No, in that case, not right now. But that's amazing to do if I'm attacking someone who's near their um, their uh, their capital or something. That's brilliant. Okay, that was well worth taking with my champion for that. Okay, manual fi manually fight. I will generally manually fight anyway, even if I'm assured victory, just because I enjoy it. The lame runs if he has to. <laughs> Nordic proverb. Uh, okay. Whatever. Uh, we, with our army alone, we vastly out, uh, outnumber them. But with reinforcements as well, that's going to be great. That means I can probably leave my uh, weakest units quite far to the back. Okay, start the battle. Be some good training. Uh, fog. Severely reduced visibility. I'm good with that. Okay, the enemy are out over there. We could get a bunch of people into the tree line here. They're probably not going to advance on us. Not easily, anyway. Okay, so what we want. I would like all my travel units. Uh, you two will be together on... Well, actually, we'll start with the, the commander. I like the commander to be by, by themselves. Now, I believe you can... Oh, I believe you can also have them in two groups. No? That's a shame. Okay. I can't do that. I was hoping that I could have them as part of multiple command groups, but it doesn't look like it. Um, Scout horsemen. horsemen there. Good. Scout horsemen over there. Let's just organize my military first. So two, horsemen. let's get you out of there. Just out, out of the way, just so I can see what I've set up. All of my spearmen, sh well, all of my melee should be in a single group. But I'm going Levy to... Men. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Levy men. Have you guys in... Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have you as two instead. Sorry, it'll take me a little bit to get all of this sorted. I would like you to be archers at the back, so... No, no, no. Uh, double line sorted. No, I don't want the archers at the front. That seems dumb. There we go. That'll, that'll do fine. Uh, there we are. Uh, I would like these as a new group of three. They're weaker, and so I would generally like them to be a little bit better defended. Solid line of melee fighters with missile units behind, spearmen set on, um, back on the flanks, and cavalry at the rear. In fact, I could perhaps have this entire group with my What's archers as well. So they have got some melee um, protection. We'll see. You'll be group five. And that should be good enough, I think. Let's get my archers set up. We will allow them to be in skirmish. My javeliners, I don't want to be skirmishing for now. I want them to... to if, if there's a fight, I want them to be there, basically. Uh, right, with you guys, I would Show like all of you in a formation, if I could get that to happen. So, archers at the back, melee at the front. Uh, seed, uh, shield wall, a single line of melee, infantry with swords in the middle, and spears on the flanks. There we go, that's what we want, yes. Alright, I think we're ready. I think we are indeed ready. So, let's grab this big old group over here, and they can move up into this tree line straight away. My spearman can be over here. Instead, I will be ready to move with them. And my cavalry 
We'll head out. Right. To the rear of an enemy Indeed. I know. Right, let's get my uh, cavalry out then. Reinforcements have arrived. The enemy tremble before our superior numbers. Fantastic. I approve of this. Right, move forward. Yes, please. And four. In here. If they're going to let me, I'll just harry them with my uh, cavalry until they decide to, to come out and fight me. I may actually have my uh, general take part in this as well. Alright. I'll be on this side. From there, please. Into the tree line. Uh, they're probably not going to respond to that. What is this? Scout horsemen. Don't particularly want to uh, attack them yet. We're beating the odds. What do you mean? <laughs> There's no beating of odds right now. We vastly outnumber them. This is scarcely going to be a fight. Get him over here, please. Force him to split up a little bit. Um, once my archers are in position, this this is going to be a slaughter. Uh, the amount of archers I've got, given that, is going to be brutal against them. They do. Right, they are facing the front. Right, let's slow things down a little bit. Right, you guys. Right, we actually, could you hold back? Well, no, no, get get up right in their face, because my javelin is a fearsome opponent, truly fearsome. I'm gonna move up, and I'm gonna have my cavalry charge into the to the rear of their archers. I'm just going to have them slam into them, then retreat a little bit. Move up, everyone. I've got the scout horsemen moving in. Uh, right, go for it. Our hidden units have been discovered. Now they know that they're there. They might force them to uh, change position somewhat. Right. My archers are moving up. I'm in position, ready to charge in. There we go. Quickly now, guys, turn around. Uh, they are repositioning. Good. They shouldn't be able to deal with my my units. My cavalry are going to slam into them in a moment. Uh, what about them? There we go. They are royal companions for the general. Let's actually see how that goes. Right. My cavalry doing a pretty solid number on them. They're all already breaking them. Right, let's get you guys to engage fully. Actually, you, I want it to move back a little bit. Uh, I'm going to charge in and hit the scouts down here. There are my uh, cavalry doing a fantastic job. There we are. I'm actually going to... Yeah, yeah, hit the, hit the scouts, I think. I don't want to hit the spearmen. Well, I could... Hit the the uh, infantry down there. All right, draw back. Get out of there. Don't don't hang around. There's no need for it. Draw back completely. Javeliners, I want you to attack them. Archers, attack them as well, please. Annihilate them. Get in there. As my general, go ahead. Raise the morale of my people. Go for it. We're doing really well right now. All right. I'm going to slow time down a little bit. I want you to be a different group now. All right. Charge forward. We're in a ridiculously strong position. Um, try not to get in front of fire. Right, great, as we could. In for them, please. All right. Pull out. My cavalry have done their job. Pull back from this because uh, we're starting to uh, take attrition there. Right. Uh, I would like my spearmen now in their own group as well. And they can charge forward. Uh, you guys hang tight right now, actually. Spearmen. In fact, just hold position there. We'll get them. There's no need for us to, to lay into them just yet. I'm going to. 
regroup. Can I not regroup them? Hmm. Let's get together. Can I please regroup you? No, I can't. Okay. That is nothing that's going to be happening. Okay. Given that, I would like you guys to switch to melee and just charge in. You guys charge in as well. And let's get up behind. And we're just going to wallop in. At this point, I would like my archers to stop firing. I don't want any more casualties from my own troops. There's just no need for it. I have no idea where the reinforcements are. Oh, they're all the way over here. They're like, yeah, there's no point. There's no point. You got this. And we do, to be fair. Uh, right. Charge in. I want you to collapse on their leader now. And utterly annihilate them. Everyone should be just collapsing on the, these guys. Let's uh, get close and see how this battle is going. Look at that. And in we go. That is just absolute mayhem in there now. Uh, we've lost nothing much, actually. Very little. Pretty much just collapse on them, please. There we go. We win. Praise God, your victory is moments away. Uh, no, our victory is now. Okay, end battle. There can be no doubt this is a great victory. The enemy are dead, running or running for their lives. I mean, we hopelessly outnumbered them. We have killed the enemy general. We lost 99. Uh, they lost 264. 99 losses, though. It's actually quite a lot. Uh, it's a lot more than I was looking for, really, I'll be honest. It's much higher losses than I, I was I was expecting in that battle. The enemy killed 86. So we lost... Oops. <laughs> oh, dear. We lost 13 to 35. Uh, continue. Very well. Uh, we could get some more cash, perhaps. 100 money gained, maybe. Uh, leave none alive. Killing every last survivor may satisfy your thirst for blood, but your enemy... Uh, no, we're not going to... That, that isn't going to be our way. I will... Ransom. Step up now. Enemy killed in battle. Uh, Kiel Wolf, deceased. Uh, commanding the English Ravagers, uh, Revengers, rather. Uh, opponent, Anarud, the white, uh, commanding the White Shields. Uh, our noble enemy has fallen in battle against us. There we are. Okay, with that then, we can we get back up there? Folk, true of uh, no, I'm not going to attack my brother's settlement, my lord. Advance, warriors. There we are. The next opponent. Hmm. Scrobbersburg. Maybe. Maybe. Mm, they've got sheep. Hmm. Cloth reduction. I'm. I. Look. Okay. Get the jokes out of your system now. Fill the comments with them. It's okay. I give you permission. Get it out of your system, and then we'll move on. Oh my lord. I am Welsh, and I'm playing the Welsh. The sheep jokes are going to be ridiculous. Frankly, I'd be disappointed if they weren't at this point. You're never going to get a better chance than this. Right. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see how... It's going to take me a little while to replenish. I'm going to, to fortify. Though we've gotten a bit of extra uh, um, rank there. Oh, this is good. Seeing a lot of units ranking up now. That's fantastic. I approve. I approve enormously. Okay. Let's see what their response is. Oh dear. Now oh, you are an equal size to me. Mm. However, we can still take them. If my brother could get an army together, then perhaps we could. Uh, I guess we're not going to be grabbing that anytime soon then. Still. Good to see you there. I'll, I'll get into the little settlement for now. We'll we'll protect us until this this character is off the field. I'm not going to go for it. Faction destroyed. Faction was no match for the enemies. Uh, they are no more. Are well. Not content with holding the port at Dublin, the Viking sea ca uh, kings who settled on Eru's east coast have made a move on their independent neighbours to the north. Whether they bribed or intimidated the king of Briga, you may never know. 
But the result is the same. Dublin now controls Briga's territory. Alright. We could just go straight in there. Uh, let's find out about you, shall we? Yeah, that's a lot. No, we're going to uh, go ahead. My warriors get in here. Allow some uh, replenishment of troops. Got enough money to get a little bit more, though, if we really wanted to. Um, this, let's have a look at a couple of other things. Mm. Copper to increase our income a bit. More food. Uh, let's see. Could go for this, which would give us even more stability, which might be nice. Uh, or I could get more troops. Now, the problem with more troops is they would be weak. So I think maybe waiting a little bit for that. What about down here? Could improve this farm. That's a lot of food. That's an awful, awful lot of money as well. It does increase our income a fair chunk, too. Uh, all right, yeah, I'm going to go for it. It's a lot of money, but we'll develop that estate, I think. All right, this character is unassigned skill. Oh, fantastic. Go for another scribe. That would get us up to minus 80% corruption, which would be fantastic. And also a bit of extra money in there. We could gain a bit of zeal. Hmm, maybe. Uh, forager, I mean, would be interesting, but not really that useful. Priest, perhaps. That's not as useful either. Uh, plus two siege holdout time in the local settlement. Hmm. Don't need a champion. I think it's between the bard and... Commanded forces or own armies in governed province. Yeah, we don't want that. I think it's the priest or the bard. And I'm going to say, for now, the bard. And let's get a bard singing singing your praises. There we go. You're doing a very good job over there. Well done. Uh, okay. Uh, this province is still at risk of rebellion. Occupation minus eight. Rebellions can occur if your public order is negative. Your current chance of rebellion is 6%. Um, hopefully that's just going to get better over 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 time. And it's a very good place to have. Uh, let's have a look at the garrison detail. There's a decent garrison. As long as I'm nearby here, we're going to have an overwhelming force if they try to attack. Uh, if they try to attack my brother's lands, I will move in and uh, attack them immediately after. I wouldn't mind taking their little provinces, though. Just slowly chipping away at them, pushing them further back. This, if we can get this line of territories, uh, at least these couple, then we will be driving them back towards their enemies. I mean, that is going to be expanding my border contact. Taking this province meant that I've now got two that I need to protect from their, their efforts. Still, it's not terrible. No, okay. That, that's not a bad game for us overall. Let's see what the next turn holds, shall we? Are you going to come fight? <gasps> you are. I see. Okay. Now, this is going to be interesting. Uh, you've got some wounded, but I've got a lot more wounded than you do. Let's have a look at what you've got. You've got Spearman. Um... Axeman, you've only got a couple of archers. Javelinman, you got many cavalry at all. You do, sort of. Okay, you've got a lot more deployed, but mine are better skilled. You're defending against them. All right. Now, this is going to be an interesting one. We are going to do this battle, but because I fancy this battle is going to be a bit of a long one, we're going to do it in the next episode. So, a bit of a cliffhanger here. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode, though, and I'm looking forward to the battle that will probably take up the majority of the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.